I'm going to be talking about the most anticipated feature of 318, salvaging. Currently, salvaging is slated to be released with patch 318 in December, so here's what you need to know. I won't get into specifics, but I will talk about the general gameplay and what you can expect when 318 comes out. This is the first iteration of salvage gameplay, also known as Salvage T0, which comes with hull stripping and repair. So if you're expecting drones or ship munching, it ain't here yet. To be clear, the material you get from salvaging is called Recycled Material Composite, or RMC, but for simplicity, I'll just call it salvage. There will be three ways to salvage, with the Drake Vulture, the Aegis Reclaimer, or the Multi-Tool Salvage Attachment and Backpack. The Drake Vulture is an entry-level salvage ship which unfortunately can only be bought with real money for at least a couple of months after the release of 318. Perhaps it will become available to purchase in-game when 319 comes out. The Vulture will strip the ship process it, and store salvage in its cargo bay, and it will have 12 SU of cargo capacity to do so. It is not clear if the salvage will come out and stack automatically, or if you have to go into the cargo bay every time a box is filled up to stack it manually. The Reclaimer is a bit more complicated. It will be the only salvage ship that you can acquire without spending real money, but it's also currently the third most expensive ship in Star Citizen. The Reclaimer is designed to be used with a crew, ideally four or five people. In addition to the pilot, there are two salvage turrets, each can be manned by a crew member. The salvage gathered will automatically be put into cargo boxes where another crew member will have to manually deposit it into the cargo hold and then someone else, or could be the same guy, will have to manually stack the boxes in the cargo hold. It will have 180 SCU of cargo capacity and according to the description, can store up to a constellation ship's worth of salvage. For context, this is how big a constellation ship is. Unlike the two salvage ships, the multi-tool will not only be able to salvage, but will also be able to repair ships. To salvage, you need the multi-tool salvage attachment and a specially made backpack designed for storing salvage. The capacity of the backpack is unknown, but I would guess it can store a lot of salvage. To repair your ship, you have to gather some salvage from another ship with your multi-tool. Then, you use that salvage to repair the damage on your ship. This can come in handy, especially after a dogfight. You can gather salvage from a ship you just destroyed and use it to repair the damage on your ship. There are limitations when it comes to repairing ships though. For one, it's only meant to patch up damage, so there will still be some scarring and imperfections when repairing with the multi-tool. It also can't repair destroyed parts. For example, if the wing is destroyed, the multi-tool can't 3D print a new wing on your ship. To completely repair your ship, you have to head to a rest stop. Now where can you salvage? Well thanks to persistent entity streaming, ships won't automatically despawn after you destroy them. So after you destroy an enemy ship, you can get your vulture, reclaimer, or your multi-tool and start salvaging. Let's say you're not a fighter, or you don't want to lurk around fights. Well, don't worry. Derelicts will spawn out grange points and asteroid fields. You can find them using the ping function, and they'll appear on your screen like asteroids for mining. But these derelicts will be different than the derelicts we have now. For one, the derelicts we currently have will not be harvestable. So all the various derelicts that dot around stand currently, cannot be salvaged. Secondly, it's not clear if we can go inside these derelicts, and even if we could, there probably won't be any loot in them. The devs mentioned that they are essentially husks. Once your cargo is full of salvage, you can head to a space station or outpost and sell your salvage or RMC for money. One thing to note, salvaging only works if the target ship's shields are off, so if you try to salvage a ship that still has some shields, it won't work. Now there are some questions I can't answer like, how would the game deal with insurance fraud? What would prevent players from salvaging their own ships for money? CIG has discussed this in the past, so I'm sure they're aware of it, but we probably won't know what they'll do until 318 comes out in the PTU at least. It's also not clear if ground vehicles will also be salvageable. I should also mention that since this is salvage T0, there is not much difference between the Vulture and Reclaimer in terms of salvaging functionality besides cargo capacity. All the advanced features the Reclaimer will have will not be in the 318 update. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. I definitely plan to make more videos going more in depth on salvaging and whether or not it'll be worth doing once 318 comes out. So subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss out. In the meantime, if you want to improve your playing experience in Star System right now, I recommend you watch this video right here.